guess where I am? I'm gonna give you one clue. I'm stuck in traffic. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, the M25. The back of the van is loaded up with four or five big boxes and they're all things that I need to get fitted to the van. So I'm headed up towards Sheffield so that I can get some help from my mate Liam. But that's not happening until the morning. So for now, I'm just going up in that direction. I'm gonna find somewhere to park up. And that way, tomorrow when I wake up, I won't be too far away. That was a long drive, but all will be worth it tomorrow when the van gets upgraded. But right now, I don't actually know where I am. I know I'm somewhere in the Peak District. What I've done is I found a park up on Park for Night, and I basically just pressed the button to route me there. Welcome to the Peak Caravan. The devil's ass. What the hell? Oh, here we go, look. There's a load of caravans and motorhomes up here on the side of the road. It doesn't look too flat, though. There's a spot there. Look, he's got those things on his back wheels to jack him up. Oh look, a little blue caddy. Reminds me of the jelly bean, I might have to park there. I wonder if they're in there. There they are. Right, let's just pretend that we're getting a nice little shot of my van, when secretly in the background we're getting a shot of the caddy. Right, we need a closer look. God, state of me. I am aware that I look very unkept today. It's not my fault, my electric shaver thing died a few days ago. And I didn't even think I was leaving the house today, let alone filming a video, so I haven't bothered replacing it just yet. But the views around here are something else. I'd love to park here and wake up with this outside my door, but I just don't know if it's flat enough. I'm gonna drive back up and down the road, I think, and see if I can find the best spot. We've only got about 20 minutes of daylight left. It'll be nice to have a nice view in the morning, but I think the level situation is more important because I need a good sleep after that drive because I don't want to be doing that drive again tomorrow when I'm tired. Which way is my bed facing? All that will happen is I'll roll out of bed. It's not like I'm up or down head or feet ways. Right, let's do one more up and down of the entire road because I didn't go as far as I could have done. This one isn't too bad. We got a decent view. We're reasonably flat. Job done. And welcome to the upgraded version of the pigeon. So first and foremost, this is my new, look, it's a sheep. Hello, mate. What are you doing? What the hell? Why is that one sitting down like Buddha? What are you doing, mate? Right, where were we? Super quick tour. So this is my new kitchen unit. I've built it 100% from scratch with my bare hands. I just didn't film that bit. It may look like a cheap one that I bought off Facebook Marketplace for £25, but I didn't. All right, I did really. It's just temporary, but this is just in the place of where my proper kitchen's gonna end up. So this up here is one of many items from Van Pimps. There's two additional boxes behind it. Under the bed, there is also another box there. And we've even got a long one in the bed which I'm gonna to have to move at some point. But I'm well glad I discovered Van Pimps. Basically, it's a website, you go on there and you put in your vehicle and then it lists all the accessories and things that they have for your model of van. So I'll stick a link down below for that. Another thing that I've done is carpeted the wheel arches. I'm really happy with the job that I've done on that. I'll show you that properly in the morning as well. Oh, and I just wanted to talk about my bed. So last time I talked all about the bed, but I never actually showed you the mattress itself. I showed you this bit here, which is the heated mattress protector, which is amazing. But the mattress itself is also just as good. It's quilted, padded. It's a proper pocket sprung mattress. It is so good. But the problem is because it's a proper mattress, it comes up so high off the bed. It's something like 11 inches, I think. But that's why I was saying in my last video that the bed's a little bit too high now. It's not the bed itself. It's just because of this mattress is so big now a lot of people were saying in the comments that i don't need to lower the bed and i can just get a step to get in and out of it that's not my issue i can get in and out of it fine and there is going to be a step down here but the reason why i was considering lowering it is because of the height of it compared with where the back windows are going to go see i wanted to be able to sit up in bed and then see out of the windows when i'm working on my laptop and lastly obviously there's enough headroom in there to sleep nicely but let's say for some unknown reason you want to kneel up in bed you're not gonna be able to. But I still haven't made a proper decision on that yet. I might lower it just by a few centimeters and then maybe I'll settle for getting a slightly thinner mattress. 
but for now it's going to stay where it is because it's super comfortable i'll wait till the windows go in first and then i'll make my decision from there you've seen this fridge before but the last thing that i need to show you is that beast in there now you guys know that i've had a lot of power stations over the last year honestly this thing is next level and some of the features that it has and i don't use this term lightly it is a game changer and of course it's a product from the industry leading power station company you know who they are it is ecoflow the sponsor of today's video and this model is called the ecoflow delta pro i'm just going to get a few bits out of the front put them in the back rearrange some stuff before i lose all daylight and then i'll show you more about it so the del what the hell is that noise oh it's the fridge it scared the hell out of me i thought it was like a hamster shaving itself but anyway the delta pro now i've had this for about three or four weeks now i wanted to really test it thoroughly before i showed it to you guys because it's not the cheapest of power stations but honestly it's so far above the rest that it's ridiculous as for sockets it's got all the usual things you'd expect it's got ac outlets usb usb c but the three standout features to me that really put this thing way above the competition. First of all is this thing here. This is a little remote control panel. Now you can have this on the wall or you can just keep it around in a drawer. And that brings me to the second standout feature. And this is something I've never seen on a power station before. So most power stations now you can control with an app via Bluetooth. But if the power station switches itself off like most of them do after X amount of hours, that also switches the Bluetooth off so you then have to go and turn the power station on to be able to control it with the app so, but the delta pro has thought of that so it has a little button on the side which is the bluetooth standby button you can literally power the entire unit on through bluetooth but the third standout feature and this one is the ultimate game changer you can charge it from electric vehicle charging stations now there is some sort of moral debate going on about whether you should use ev charging points for anything other than a car personally i don't see anything wrong with it i mean you paying for that electricity if you pay for a product you can do what you want with it i mean imagine that applying to other things in life like going into a pet shop hello sir welcome to petland how can i help well i'm just looking to get a fish tank actually any particular one that you like the look of uh yeah just literally that one up behind you there looks good enough for me what an excellent choice sir what fish are you keeping well to be honest i'm not even going to keep fish in it i'm just going to put plants in it for a bit of decoration you know what plants that thing is for fish fish only oh so i really don't see any moral grounds that you shouldn't do it now obviously if there's somebody in a car and there's only one space left you should be courteous and let them go first just because they've got a journey to get on with but in general i think it's fine to use those ev points i was going to cook something but that journey took so long that i ended up buying a sandwich en route but there's always time for breakfast hopefully with a view and some nice decent weather in the morning well it's a little bit wonky on the curtain over there but it'll do hello everybody and welcome back to my channel the reason that i'm actually out is because unfortunately my boiler is broken and it's happened to me <laughs> Now, I would love to tell you that we are making breakfast in this nice location, but my bed was too good again. And I stayed in it for too long and now I don't have time for breakfast. I'm absolutely starving. But I told Liam I'd be there at 10. The ETA and the sat nav is already quarter past 10 and I've got to stop at a garage. So I'm gonna get a move on, but I'll see you when we get there. Whoa, I just ran into a moth. No! Do you want me to go into the unit? So I've just arrived. Some of you guys might recognize Liam. In fact, a lot of you probably do. Liam the Terrible, he's got a YouTube channel and I will link that below as well. But this is who's doing the work for me today. So we're doing two barn door windows and these have got a little pop out. We've got another bit of glass there and that is for the sliding side door. And we've also got a Max Air fan which is going in the center panel. And then if I can get this done at the same time these are running boards which are going to go along the side of the van and like i said these are all from van pimps well actually i had the rear barn door ones for a while but everything else is from van pimps what's your opinion on my wheel arch carpeting this time i've managed to somehow do it all in one piece my last van it was like a mismatch puzzle how are you wanting it marked out of 10 or are you wanting it 
Uh, yeah, yeah, let's like go for a, out of ten. To be fair, I've got to give you like an eight and a half to be good. It's oh, I'm happy good. with that. That's pretty good. Yeah, ignore this top bit because obviously that's going to be hidden by the ply, but yep. around the bottom, it's nice and neat. Sweet. I was really happy with that. I'm trying to drain the Delta Pro as much as I can today so that when I go and charge it up at an EV point I can see how quickly it does. So whilst Liam is working in the background there I've set myself up a temporary kitchen and I'm going to try something new, I'm going to make some bagel pizzas. The moment of truth is upon us. God look at that! It looks the part but does it taste the part? That, most definitely, is the one. Air fryer pizza bagels. 200 degrees, seven minutes, job done. Well, here's me trying to figure out all of the nuts and bolts and the instructions for this. I didn't even realize Liam's been cracking on. We've already got two windows in place. So these are the safari style pop-out windows. I like a bit of that, because basically what I can do is I can have them slightly open, lock them. The do you know what it looks like? The speed camera van. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could do it, I could have that yellow and red yeah. tape on the back. Yeah, I'm well happy with this so far. I can't believe I'm going to be able to see out. I'm going to get inside in a bit to show you, but at the moment there's all sorts going on in there, so I can't get inside. But what I've done so far on this is I've laid out the brackets where I think they're supposed to go. So now I've just got to figure out how the hell to attach them to the van. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this from this angle, but basically that bolts onto there. From what I gather, that goes in there and that goes in there like that. It's a little bit fiddly, I don't know if the camera's even pointing in the right place, but I'm just hand tightening them for now. So apparently I've become He-Man. I was just tightening a bolt and I've just sheared the thing in half and now I've got to try and figure out how to get it back out of the van. So that is the end of the bolt there, which I just sheared off. Right, I've got it out. That's where it snapped in half. Note to self, stop eating bagel pizzas, they give you super strength. So that's all three brackets done on the passenger side. And on the driver's side, you're supposed to leave a gap in the middle for the exhaust. And I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit fiddly to do. It'd be easier if the van was up on a ramp, but it's done now. I just got to figure out how to attach the boards to the brackets. Right, that job is finally done of the running boards. There's a slight issue, and I mean a slight issue. See if you can notice what's wrong. So there is the beautiful running boards coming all the way, oh, not quite all the way to the back. It looks like they've sent me the wrong ones for the short wheelbase van instead of the medium wheelbase van. It's currently the next day. I just wanted to jump in with a little update. So yes, there was a mix up with the size of those running boards, but it's how a company deals with these things that's important. I emailed them, they literally got straight back to me. They've arranged the delivery of the new items and to collect the old ones. And on top of that, I said, can I have a discount code for my subscribers? And they've said yes. So check the description below and I'll put it down there. But I just wanted to show you guys something. This is what I wanted to show you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically with the Max Air fan, what normally happens is people have to build up a load of mastic or sealant in these ridges to make a nice flat surface. But they supply these roof adapters that not many people know about. So basically it's got these little indentations. No, not indentations. What would you call the bits that stick out? Willies. Are you going to leave this bit and it out? Don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this follows the contours. Door, that's the that's what I was looking for. It follows the contours of the van perfectly, which leaves you with a nice level surface. So it just makes life a lot simpler, and it also a looks a lot neater as well. And another accessory to the Max Air fan that not a lot of people know about is the seal kit that you can get. So Liam's already fitted this, but inside here, he's now added a little rubber seal. Now I didn't know this, but apparently with the Max Air fans, because of the laws in Europe, they have to remain open a slight bit at all times for ventilation purposes, I guess. But if you have other forms of ventilation in your van, like I now do with my rear windows, I'm gonna wanna seal that vent so you're not getting wind rushing through it during the night but luckily with this seal kit that's exactly what it does so now my max air fan is going to be at a hundred percent seal all the way around so that i'm not going to have any air or wind coming through whatsoever and that is that job done so the max air fan is in 
Now I can't actually show you it working properly because I don't have power to hook it up to right now. But in a few episodes time that will all be sorted and I'll show you exactly how it works. And all the features if you don't already know. The two barn door tinted windows are in. And unlike most of the pop out style ones that you see these are actually real glass. The tinted side window is also in. And the ridiculously short running boards are on temporarily. Now originally I wanted to avoid this style of window because I didn't want it to look too much like a camper. But... I realised the value of having these because I can have them slightly open and still locked. Therefore the Max Air fan will draw air out and it will draw the air in through the back and that will keep me nice and cool like a penguin's spleen. One feature of the EcoFlow that I haven't showed you yet is it actually cleans itself. All you have to do, put that in there, turn that on. I mean this accessory is not available on the EcoFlow website. Turn that on and now the EcoFlow is literally sucking itself clean. But honestly, I can't be happier with how today's gone. Liam has absolutely smashed it. By the way, this business is called Coalition Vans. So if you've ever got any work doing on a van, it's worth giving him a call and seeing if he's got a free slot because he gets the job done very efficiently. But not only that, if you just want to learn about van building or watch van building or any of the antics that he gets up to on his channel, go and check him out. He's called Liam the Terrible. But honestly, Liam, mate, your help has been massively appreciated. Thank you so much for that. No problem You're at all. You're a living legend. Try my best. I've got about a five hour journey home, but the video's not quite over yet. At some point on the way home, I'm gonna go and find an EV charging point and plug the EcoFlow in to see how that does. But before that, I'm gonna get about half of the journey under my belt, so I'll catch you guys soon. See you later, Liam, mate. Change of plan. I might have to show you the EV charging another time. I've just pulled up at the services to try it out and they have no electricity in their machines. But that Delta Pro is gonna be living in my van, so there's gonna be plenty of opportunities to show that to you. So I'm gonna leave this video here. As always, a massive thank you to anybody who's donated to the channel by Buy Me A Brain Cell for the link in the description below. And just so you know, after cooking earlier and everything else, the Delta Pro is currently at 77%. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you wanna go and check out the full specs. After my little family holiday, I've got an event to go to, which is the Van Life Festival in Shrewsbury. And then after that, I'm gonna be cracking on with this van. I'm not gonna stop until it's done. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that button so you don't miss it. I'm gonna run into these services and get myself a coffee because I am so tired. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.